Uh, hi, this is Stacy. Um, I'm going to do a reading on uh, Gannon Stalk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his right name right, but I was pronouncing it Stalch. I've been corrected. I have a hearing problem in my right ear and been on steroids. It's still not good and still can't hear out of my right ear. So anyway, um, I know we've been uh, looking and concentrating, and I know there are many people been out actually on the ground and drones flying around trying to find him. Today is Sunday the 16th and I just want to say that I um, did a couple of different questions and I just wanted to put this out there because me and a couple other tarot card readers were picking up the same cards and we were thinking that um, unfortunately that something terrible happened to him and that he uh, maybe the stepmother had poisoned him um, here's a different scenario about why she went to um, Petco and what, what happened after that. If Gannon was waiting in the car, oh, and by the way, I did ask um, about, did she expect Gannon to stay home that day? I think the father gave him the okay to stay home. I don't think she wanted him to stay home that day. And, um... So her rendezvous was changed. We all know that she went to the pet cow in um, North Nevada and that it was an, a further out one. Now, a lot of people say because they have a bigger selection there. But um, she bought three dog cows and she only owns two little dogs. And they're not going to give us the information about that. So it's all speculations from here. But anyway, um, about the um, the accident, I don't think that she meant to um, poison him. I think while he was waiting in the car, it was possible that somehow he OD'd. Um, it's been told to me by somebody else that she did have a lot of home remedies. And I, I know a lot of things are going on, uh, I mean, going around on YouTube about, um, uh, you know, de the detoxing of your system and the deworming. Uh, there is some people in um, what videos I watched where a lot of uh, people were trying deworming from a dog dewormer. Uh, that we don't know because we don't know what she bought at Petco. But that's a possibility that she was doing some kind of home remedy. And um, that could also upset your stomach. But anyway, I think she was definitely going to meet a man uh, in that area. There was also, I forget where I wrote it down, but there was also a... Um, bar and restaurant a brewery um i think the name's called something brewery but uh it's possible she was there going there to meet her rendezvous um and of course when you're married you don't use telephones because the other one could find out so or maybe he didn't give her the phone number but anyway or it's a possibility and i'm just putting this out there it's a possibility that the stepmother does drugs herself and uh, might have been going to um, do a drug deal. and um, Or she was actually drug running. And he got a hold of supply in the truck. But anyway, whatever happened, we know that she didn't get back home because of the footage of the neighbor's surveillance. And that um, she returned back to Petco. And we still don't know why. Um, I can't get a definite answer at the moment about that, but I'll try to ask it the first time I was, the first visit I was asking about. Okay, and um, I think it's definitely a possibility that uh, there was definitely um, energy and, and debauchery. So, um, and um, I'm holding them up the other way, but on the video, they're backwards. So, you can still read the cards that are next to it. In my deck, the cards are not reverse, uh, dignified by reversibility. They're uh, dignified by the cards next to them. And this card... Rep oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> See how I'm seeing it backwards? This card represents debauchery, drug abuse, alcohol. I don't think she was alcoholically uh, driving around it, uh, early in the morning to that pet code, but it does represent uh, drugs and uh, or poisoning. So, um, so uh, that's 
that's what I'm picking up with the energy. And this card is actually pure and whoops, sorry, trying to get it to show you. Energy and then realization. And pretty much uh yeah. So um and I don't want to spread a rumor about anybody, but this is just what I'm picking up. And yes, uh, as someone pointed out to me, I did pronounce the name wrong, and I do make mistakes. Of course, the, um, because of that risk-taking involvement and uh, the law, and it, which caused the great, great loss. Um, and uh, of course, you know, there's going to be uh, um, consequences after that one. Uh, if a little 11 year old OD'd in your truck or was poisoned but um so then we also still keep seeing another man that's involved apparent uh, you know like I said there was definitely a man she was going there to meet at least that's what we're picking up and of course um we have the death card oops sorry backwards again the death card at the prince of wands and then the um female and the home and um, the situation is um, not too uh, good. So, then we have to think, well, what would she do if that happened? So, that caused her a lot of emotional problems immediately. Whoopsie, this one. Caused um, a serious pro emotional problem that had to be, um, you know, something quick. You have to think something quick on that one. And you have to come up with something because, you know, you're going to have to reveal something to your, you know, husband, police, etc. About uh, what happened to your, um, your child, you know. So that's what I picked up with that. I'm just going to say that that's a different um, perspective on things. Now, I know she called the, the natural mother um, Landon. And I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, too. Um, I know she mentioned that um, in a nasty little Facebook comment that um, something about Landon being on drugs. So uh, that's funny that um, I kept picking up debauchery on uh, Letitia, uh, Latasha, Letitia. Uh, um, sorry if I'm pronouncing. I'm really bad with names and I'm really bad with directions. What else did I want to mention? Um, so yeah, I think she might might have been dealing drugs or picking up some drugs. Now, uh, I did keep picking up the hanged man, which is um, uh, also referring to an angle, a right hand angle, which I really don't know what a right hand angle is. But if we have Petco here and her house all the way down there, so she didn't travel straight back home. She must have went somewhere, uh, you know, to uh. To take to take and do something, so and uh, we we um, well, I keep saying we, we, I and others kept picking up that there's another man that was involved, and uh, then we have to consider consider okay, um, did he get out of the truck when she returned back home, and um, and we don't just see him running away, and of course, eleven year old running away. They usually come back home when they're hungry, or the, fr or, you know, when the police knock on the door and the f and the friends get really scared, like oh my goodness, or or there was a straight out abduction. So um, so back to the runaway. Um, she doesn't really quite think that he uh, took any clothes with him. I mean, if you're gonna run away, you're gonna need clothes. You're gonna need a change of pair of underwear. Is his clothes missing? So there's a lot of questions that we're not gonna know. But uh, things to take into consideration that none of us think that the, the uh, Gannon ran away. And then how far is he going to go in that uh, cold, snowy uh, Colorado? And by the way, Colorado seems to be a beautiful, beautiful state. So the next question is, is what did Letitia do before she went to Petco the second time? And, of course, we always pick up better readings of past than future because the future can change. So I'm going to ask, what did she do the, while, the first time after she left Petco? Where did she go? Where did she go? 
I'm going to try to turn this down to see if you can see see them. The first card is um, the prestige um, she's revealing, and then female, and then here comes a male again. Now sometimes he represents another city, but um, I'm not really good with uh, um, astrology either. But he's, I'm uh, Aries or a dark-haired man. A lot of people mentioned brother. I didn't. I don't know nothing about Facebook. I am not on Facebook. Uh, here, there's a couple men that are popping up, but they can also represent direction. Okay, so we definitely had um, seeing and and uh, where did she go was the question after she left Petco. Okay, and then we have the Magus, science, and strength. Now, science means. Um, um, is a, is a sword. It represents more intellectual stuff and, um, you know, science, um, technology. So, uh, so, or it could also represent a direction, many directions and strength, but, and then timing. So here we have the death card again. And then we have the Prince of Swords slays as fast as he can to get somewhere. And then we have in, paranoid interference so let's read it this way instead of that way now we have paranoia interference possibly imprisonment mental slaying you know oh my god we got to do something fast see see how he's he's whipping and he's got the three going so he's, he's moving fast and then we have the death card and then we have strength Oh my God, I got an idea. And then we have some kind of um, science communicated. And this represents skill, cunning, um, possibly um, where somebody works. Um, I don't know the road area there, too. Things taken into consideration or things that change. The, the breaking, they had to move quickly, and ideas came about the destruction and liberation. So she got out of the parking lot fast. Sure of that. And then we still have resting in a field. Now here's the man, and here's the um. This is more like something that's containing, like um. They have a lid on it. It could be a drainage pipe, and then of course it could be caves out there too. But it's in some type of cane container or um, cover, and out out in the field. This and he's definitely sitting, watching, and waiting um, in a field. So she traveled somewhere. This is what I got. Where did she go after she left Petco? Well, she met with the man. She went, went with the man, realized what had he realized what had happened, and that's the end of that question. So I got a feeling he, you know, something happened in the truck while she was in the pet cat, or it happened um, before she got there. Like I said, she's um, been said to uh, do home remedies, and um, apparently, she might be on some kind of medications. I don't think uh, if he was on some kind of prescription from the doctor, it was um, contaminated. Um, she would have, you know, checked that. So anyway, it was to cover up something of whatever uh, occurred. Okay, now let's ask, um, will they find Gannon? Will they find Gannon? I really thought they would be found um, by the between the 11th and the 15th, and um, I think it's because somebody in charge changed directions. Now this is a future question. This is going to be harder because if something happens to interfere with that person locating them, it might not happen that day, or snow could interfere, etc. Are we gonna find Gannon soon? Okay. 
And yesterday, I seen a lot of changes were coming. I'm going to try to ask this again because I don't think it really answered me. I think it's still pertaining to what I just said, the other question. We still have sudden vibrations and uh, in movement. And uh, this means uh, journey by land, not by water, fertility and movement. So, and then uh, the emperor, which is a male, could also represent authority or place of business. Um, decision and timing oops, of um, loss and let's see wands swords and wands and then we have over here swords a cup and decisions so it, it's still a fight to, uh and a struggle. I do see a level change and realization, and then uh, um, new beginnings. So, mostly high in new beginnings. Let me ask it again. When uh, didn't really answer yes or no, or when, or ever. I know Colorado also has some wild animals. Are they going to find Ganon soon? What is the outcome? Oopsie. Now it's answering something else. Hmm. Well, let's see. There is something that is going to be found, or if they found it already. All they need is one thing to find. Just one thing, and I'm thinking there's going to be an arrest. There's definitely strength in catching her. Like I said, this represents um, imprisonment, interference, strength. Oh, strength is next. I'm sorry, strength in the queen. But over here, we have uh, the devil, which means hidden. And then we have objectivity and research. Now, like now, this scientific thing might be the drone. And then we have the Prince of Swords. So it's it's definitely um, something that's hidden well. But then we have um, revealing and and the cruelty and the death. So there is going to be an outcome to finding out why and how and what and it's definitely a physical um completion so of course i can't really tell which day i mean what day it's going to happen uh, apparently i was already wrong about that or maybe they did find something and just uh, i'm not sure yet um so let's find out what happens unfortunately i hope that they get a phone call and that um you know he was just scared to come home but um, I just wanted you to think about the first thing about um, uh, the stepmother not to be not not to be rude, but she's not exactly squeaky clean. And uh, I mean, she might have been just ready to have a uh, sexual wind rendezvous that afternoon, morning. But um, or or she was there to uh, do drugs or pick up drugs or 
uh, but something happened. We know that because um, Gannon is suddenly missing and, and considered a runaway. And I know a lot of people were saying, "Well, why, why, why didn't they? Uh, why are they saying a runaway? I mean, why would they just let it get with that? There's not much they can do." But I noticed the little girl is um, the little baby sister is not with the stepmom, so they separated that. So, uh, and I'm sure um, um, she. Um, anyway, we all know, but that's something to think about. Sorry this was so long, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to trying to get to another doctor about the ear. Thank you if you're watching.